Little Ted and Friends. Hi, meet my friends Little Ted and Baby Roo. Like most brothers, they look a bit the same and like doing the same sorts of things. However, there is one big difference. Little Ted has a rare disorder called xeroderma pigmentosum. Whoa, that is a big word for everyone out there. Let's go back to the start. Okay, Little Ted, good idea. There are lots of different types of illnesses and disorders. Some that you don't have for very long, like a cold, a or chicken pox, or a broken bone, and others that you might always have, like food allergies, wearing glasses, or perhaps using a wheelchair. Some of these types are called genetic conditions, which means our genes are responsible for them. Okay, so what are genes? We get our genes from our parents, which is why we might have brown eyes like mum, or curly hair like dad. And our genes decide what we look like when we are born and also play a role in how we will continue to grow. You see, our bodies are made up of lots and lots of tiny cells. And there are over 200 types of cells, each with their own important job, like making our skin, hair, bones, and even our brain. Each of these cells are pre-programmed with a code, which is called our DNA. And this code is completely unique to each of us. Unless you are an identical twin. It is the sections of this code, or DNA, that tell the individual cells which job they do that are called our genes. And we get one copy of every gene we need from each of our parents. So really, it's a bit like building Lego. While the basic plan is the same for all of us, it's the small differences in our genes that make us unique. Sometimes when our genes form, little mistakes or spelling mistakes happen, like a missing bit or an extra bit, which affects how our cells or Lego develop, influencing how we grow and what we look like. When this happens, it might mean that you have a genetic condition. Aha, this is where I come in because Xeroderma pigmentosum, or XP for short, is a genetic condition. Can you tell us all about that, Ted? My genes have a missing bit, which means my DNA cannot repair itself when it is damaged by ultraviolet or UV light that comes from the sun and some types of light bulbs. UV passes through clouds, clothing and even glass. Are there different kinds of XP? Yes. There are eight different groups called complementations. They have names from A to G and V, and the name depends on which gene has a spelling mistake. Depending on what type you have means you might get sunburn if you are exposed to UV, or you might freckle, or you may get other skin damage. And unlike your sunburn, this damage is permanent which may mean extra skin checkups or even an operation to remove the damage. If we think about our DNA and genes and imagine it is a train track. Choo choo! On a bird! The genes responsible for the skin have lots of important jobs to do and one of those is to detect and repair damage from UV light. And we know now that when you have XP it means that this gene isn't working properly. That's right. So let's look at our track and think of the XP groups A to G as teeny tiny railway workers. The jobs of workers A, C and E is to identify the damage. Then workers B and D come along and stretch the damaged track ready for workers F and G to cut out the damage. Then the track or skin can repair and heal. So, if any of those workers can't do their job properly, it stops the whole process and means the skin won't repair itself when exposed to UV light. Doctors group XP patients depending on which one of their workers can't do their job, like XPC or XPG. XPV, or variant, is a bit more complicated 
but still means that effects from UV cannot be repaired, which can lead to skin damage when exposed. So you can see the differences in our own genes make us who we are and determine if we have a genetic condition or not. Okay, got it. How else can XP affect you, little Ted? Some people with XP can have other difficulties. For example, they could have problems with their hearing or their eyesight or with their balance or in the way that they learn. Wow, that is a lot to think about. What can you do to keep safe? I can avoid UV light altogether. But that's not much fun. Or I can protect myself with special clothing and sun cream. I also need to protect the places I go with special film that blocks the UV rays and cover unsafe lights. But did you know that we all need to keep safe from UV? Really? Why do we all need to do that if we don't have XP? Although our skin cells work properly and we don't need the same protection as little Ted, our skin can still burn and there are some things we need to do to keep safe. Here are some handy tips. Keep out of the sun during the hottest part of the day. Wear sunscreen with a minimum SPF 30 and look for a high UVA rating. Cover up and wear a hat and don't forget your shades. Wow, we have really learnt a lot today. We have learnt about illnesses and disorders the building blocks that make us unique and all about zero derma pigmentosum and how little Ted keeps safe. We even learnt that we all need to keep safe from UV and how to do it. But don't forget, we have also learned something else really important. We can now see that even though we all have little differences and are unique, many things are the same. We all like to laugh, smile, have fun and spend time with our friends and family. So really, we aren't that different after all. And believe me, whatever differences or challenges we may face, they are easier when we face them together. And like my mum says, everything is possible if we plan and prepare. This animation has been brought to you by the Teddington Trust and Children of King's Lord Church of England Primary School with special funding from the Golden Jubilee Trust, a John Lewis Partnership charity. Written by Nicola Miller and Rebecca Stewart. Animated by Michael Howden with sound by Jez Toza. In order of appearance, narrated by Nancy James, Little Ted, Jason Foster, Baby Roo, Megan Todd, and credits read by me, Ella Bong Umo. With special thanks to Isabel Garrod, clinical neuropsychologist, and Shella Mohammed, clinical geneticist. For more information about Little Ted and the work of Tedison Trust, please visit www.tedisontrust.com and please follow us on Facebook and Twitter.